Hello there. Today we are heading down to Surrey and we're going to be checking out two abandoned hospitals. The first one we've already been to once, we're going back to film and it dates back to the 1920s. And the other one is a rather unusual place that was used to rehabilitate military personnel that had been injured, amputees, things like that. And both of them shut down fairly recently. We're going to check them out and there's one difference about this video. I'm filming it on my phone. Now often we're quite apprehensive about phone videos. They're not always done particularly well and there's a lot of them out there. But with our skills we're hoping we might be able to make a half decent vlog and seeing if this is something worth continuing with. I'm using the Google Pixel 6 when I find out what the quality is like and film behind the scenes. Just the wind. <laughs> we just saw a door move. Yeah, I think that was just the wind blowing in. So we thought we weren't alone, but it turns out it was just the wind making the door move and bang, and that made a bit of an unnerving noise to start off the explore. Keeping our wits about us, we continued around the complex. So Joe, what camera is this you're using? So this is the Sony A7 IV. Um, it's a really good camera, it's designed as a hybrid, so it's really good for video, but also for photos. So it can film up to 4K and take 33 megapixel photos. But one of the really good things about Sony is their performance in low light. So I can take the ISO on this up to sort of 8000, and you wouldn't even know it was on. So compared to other brands, particularly the uh, Nikon Z6 that I had before, this one's a huge step up. Some parts of this place were in pretty good condition, others were completely rotten. So we made it inside, that's the first success of the day, but we won't speak too soon because we've only just started. Um, but yeah, we've already seen a lot of this, we're just going around getting some film shots, um, taking a couple more pictures myself, but only a few here and there. And then we're going to move on to the next place, once we've had a look around, there's a few areas we haven't seen yet here that we want to try and find. Look at this, strange object to find. In these places you find a lot of things and you don't know how they got where they did. So this section is the old 1920s original courtyard. You can see it's got like a nice old fountain in the middle. Some nice old pillared sections to the original outdoor sort of veranda type corridors. So this is the nicest bit architecture wise, but there has been a lot of things added to this place in the, I believe the 60s, and the first bit was from the 80s, I believe. So all different eras in one site. And we found a really good operating theatre. 
at this hospital and it's still got this sort of old school 1970s looking decor lots of brown and Joe is going to walk into it and film it it's got some good equipment in there And in this bit, we were actually spying on the security guard and another guy that seemed to have had a problem with his wheel or something like that. He was changing, maybe changing a tyre or something in the car park. And little did they know that we were inside that building. But next, we wanted to get into this modern part and we finally found a way. Goes. Some local resident calling the police at this <laughs> Look at this. Pretty cool. Some sort of big reception area. One of the most impressive bits of the newer part of this building. So next we were going a bit closer to the security but we wanted to check out these outbuildings. Some of them proved pretty unexciting, they were just like old workshops or rotten, rotten old buildings and stuff. But there was a few interesting little spots around here. But we were kind of expecting someone to pop out on us at any moment so this is why we're walking a little bit cautiously going from door to door. And then we finally found this rather old looking workshop type building. Tuck in. Add a twist. And we also found this old boiler house. These boilers were absolutely huge. And finally we found this chapel and it was a pretty ugly looking building if it wasn't for the rays of sun coming in through the windows. So this is the last stop on our tour of Heavenly Hospital. It's been really good today. Last time we come it was pouring down with rain and of course we didn't really know our way around. So we've come back here in the sunshine um, where we can relax a little bit more. Uh, it's certainly been very good. So this has been good. Another one ticked off the list and now we are off to our next hospital. So, as you can see, a lot of fairly new apartments and things all built around it. But look, behind the fence is the place we just went in. We have covered nearly all of that place now. We've scoured it on two visits. And now we're making our leave. But Joe wants us to get a few exterior shots first. So this is the modern part, as you can quite clearly tell. So guys, we're in the car, we've got our, we had our subway, food is obviously needed, I've got my hat on, my hair sticking up a bit, uh, but yeah, we're heading to the next place now, and I just wanted to say, the first hospital we went to, we were obviously filming for a proper video, proper good video that we're going to be making, or Joe's going to be making it, so be sure to check that out, whether it's already out, at the moment or not, um, you'll have to find out, but do have a look for it and stay tuned. Right, if you're at our destination. We are, now I actually filmed it uh, for work in about 2017 or 2018, I can't remember what the story was, uh, uh, I think it was probably to do with this site closing. Um, and now it's closed, so it's going to be really interesting for me to see uh, what it was like then and what it was like now. And one of the things that I remember when I um, first came here was there was a big white sign that said this site is protected under the Official Secrets Act. Um, unfortunately, that's no longer here, but um, yeah, should be quite a good explore. The first buildings we came to were these quite modern ward buildings. 
They looked as though they couldn't have been much more than maybe a decade old. All possible tools tend to have the same smell. They do. I wouldn't say it's particularly pleasant. To be honest, if you can smell anything in an exploring place, it's generally not a good thing. And next I found myself in what I can only describe as the back rooms, if you know what they are. If you don't, you can Google to your heart's content. But yeah, there were some pretty endless empty rooms around here in this magnolia beige colour. Maybe a, a mirror or a radiator here and there to break it up. Yo. Part of it, you're trapped in here and you can't get out. <laughs> None of the uh, lights or um, switches in this place work, but there's still some water left in the taps. Have a swig. <laughs> After you. Very modern buildings, but unfortunately, all going to rack and ruin. Well, at the minute, they're in good nick, but it won't be long before the elements get to them. So let's hope something gets done with these buildings and this site soon, because these, I reckon, were built within the last 10 years. Look at that, old meets new like it or hate it i don't know i think well it's kind of well so apparently this is a really modern swimming pool we can take a look inside so this opened around 2010 i believe funded by the help for heroes charity which is pretty amazing but also quite tragic really that all that money was raised and spent and now wasted i mean look at this it's nuts that it's in Immaculate condition, really, which I don't say about many places, but it's in great nick this place, and yeah, it's already gone before its time. I mean, look, wow, it's got underfloor heating as well. The sign up there says, but I think I read online that uh, they're talking about fundraising to build this in 2015, so these state of the art facilities that are less than 10 years old just abandoned and might even be demolished it seems such a waste i mean people talk about a lot of these military sites government sites as there being a lot of waste of taxpayers money and i think at the end of the day military stuff you know it's built with a certain lifespan in mind but something like this it's just been you know flushed down the drain shall we say we have been to um other places um for example if we take severals that was absolutely trashed when we were there there have been fires graffitis bits of the wall knocked out and that was converted and kept but yet this is in a much much better condition and its future is uncertain i mean look at this place beautiful especially in the sunset hedges and everything and now for a very close escape. This is strange. So this guard popped out, but luckily it was facing the other way. We hid behind this low wall, and then we just legged it. Somehow he didn't see or hear us talking and crunching on the stones as we were approaching him. I don't know how we got away with that. How did he not notice us? Well, he didn't acknowledge us, did he? We were right in front of him and he didn't call out, he didn't say anything, did he? We decided to move to a different building over the road. So we found an older section. We 
we saw a guard that somehow didn't notice us and we ducked right behind him. We managed to get away. We had to leave the main section because we didn't want to risk it. So now we're in this newer bit over the road. I think this just looks like accommodation in here. There's not much. A bit boring. That's a good bit made for a cool photo. So we found a cool little section to this building that looked surprisingly modern until we got to this. Some kind of old hall. The rest of the building's been converted, but look at this. Little sort of small chandelier-like things, pillars, lots of mould. The floor is lifting up from all the damp. But nonetheless, quite a cool place. So I'm gonna get a few pictures on the tripod. We had to do it. So let's have a quick go. We can check the rest out, and I think we're gonna get out of here. So for those who uh, don't necessarily know why, if we can put the camera on the tripod, if it's a really dark place, it's like this, uh, we can uh, basically make the camera take the photo over a long period of time. So we could say to let in as much light as possible, take the photo over say 10 seconds. And then what that will do is it will uh, brighten up this very dark and gloomy space. So guys, that's the end of the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was certainly a bit different to our usual style of video. The thinking behind it is just that our videos, where we try and do these professional, cinematic, documentary style videos, they are few and far between. So I thought if we can do something that's a bit quicker and easier, giving you a behind the scenes glimpse, and hopefully we can get some more regular videos out. But it's not something we want to get into too much because we are strong believers in quality over quantity <laughs> and of course if you have liked this video please do hit on that like button uh, and also subscribe if we know that you like this then we're going to create more of the similar things so please do click those buttons below and visit our website where you'll find an article on the places featured and also our photos which i don't think we often cover that much on youtube so no on our website and facebook page you can view all of the photographs we actually spend ages doing the photos <laughs> so yeah it's a big part of what we do um, so yeah, please do go and check them out. And yeah, also just if you like this video, uh, let us know what you thought of it. Give us some feedback in the comments below. Thanks a lot, guys. That's See all ya. from us. <laughs>